So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to size your linkages. And you're going to want to make sure that they are uh, 29 millimeters from center to center. So you check that with a, with a gauge. And looking at them, they look to be pretty much 29 center. One of the linkages required one turn in order to do that. The other one didn't. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to check is you're going to want to use your sizing tool to size the linkages. Now I've found that the linkages, they're not very noticeably keyed, but they are keyed. You have these ridges that are on the outside, and those go away from the ball link. So you find the ridges and then you want the smooth side is what's going to go up on the ball link. Then you size these guys, find it again, there it is. They're not bad as far as sizing goes. This one was pretty tight. Alrighty then. So now these are guys are sized. So the next thing we're gonna do is now I've measured, unlike the 450s where the ball is offset, these are directly centered. So you just need to make sure that you create an opposite. So one will be going this way and then the other one will be going this way. So go ahead and find groove, there it is, slide the ball on, pop it in and then check to make sure it's nice and smooth and there's no play. So you didn't oversize the link, you gotta check that. And then we'll do the same thing here, find the groove, pop it on, check it. Alright, All right. so you want to make sure that you get the fly bar cage on properly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out which side needs to go where. So I've got find the groove, so the groove is on this side. And so I've got my ball link that's going to connect to right there. Now this guy, I want, oops, I want the grub screw to go facing up which means I need to put this guy in like so. So I'll go ahead and grab a screw. And screw it in. And then likewise, I need to make sure that this guy is facing the right way. So I've got the uh, lines facing out. And he's going to be connecting like that, so that means that he's got to go on like yay, like so. The fly bar through here. Now you're going to want to make sure the fly bar is nice and smooth in there, which it is. And then we'll go ahead and slide this guy onto the fly bar. And now, place the other side on. And we can finish up the fly bar rocker assembly and fly bar cage. Now I'm not putting the screws on very tight right now because you're going to want to make sure that it's nice and square before you tighten everything down. And then, definitely, before we do anything else, we're going to want to check and make sure that everything assembles properly. 
and pop them on. And there we go. Check for motion and all is good.